A lightweight tilt between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Gilbert Dorino Burns. So here we go, round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, but he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Nice body kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Hook shot lands. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Try to establish that jab. Good stick. Got the single collar oh, tie. There you go. Yep. Him right there. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nurmago Medov gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough, but you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, doing some serious damage with those elbows. I think the cut man's getting anxious there in the corner. The cut man better get his stuff together <laughs> because he's gonna have some work to do in between rounds. He is slicing him apart with those elbows. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. There's a beautiful elbow there from top position. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Burns back to the side control now. Oh, strong elbow there from top position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. I mean, how many can he take? Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every he strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. 